Hello and welcome to our training video. I'm Daniel from the IT train team at the LAT and I'm going to be showing you how to connect different Google Sheets together and linking them together. What I've already set up here is two sheets. One's a source sheet and one's a target sheet. So in my target sheet I need to put in some text that's going to then link to my source sheet. I can do this by type, starting to type and I put in my equals, click on here, put in my equals I'm going to start typing import range. Let's get my spelling right. Now, as you can see, it already comes up here, so I could just click on that link or I could continue to type. So I'm going to continue to type. But what you must remember is when you're doing this, you have to have a capital R, otherwise, it won't pick it up. Once I've done that, I'm going to open my brackets. The next thing I need to do is to insert my spreadsheet key. Now, the spreadsheet key is found if you go to your the source sheet that you're looking for and it's here, it's already highlighted and it's in your web address. So it's not the name of the document, source sheet in this case, because that might change, but this won't change. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it in here. What I do need to do before that is put in some quotation marks. So I put my quotation marks at the beginning, at the end of my spreadsheet key. And then I'm going to put a comma. Again, then I need to put in my range. So I'm going to do is open my quotation marks again. Now the range is the cells that you want to copy. So the first cell we're going to do is just this one and it's B3 and it's in sheet one. So what I'll do is type in sheet one with an exclamation mark and then B3. Close my brackets. Oh, one thing I forgot was closing my quotation marks. Then close my brackets, hit enter and it's loading. And as you can see, the cell I wanted comes through. If you ever get an error message, do click on it and it will give you a reason for the error. Now, if I want to do a range, more than one cell, I can see, and so in this case, I want to do B3, B4 and B5. So if we go back into my target sheet, go back into my code, and then I'm going to put in a colon and B5. Hit enter. And then it brings through all the data that I wanted from the other sheet. I hope you have found this video helpful. We have many more training videos on our training site and YouTube channel. You can also email us with any queries.